I'm Madison with I Trip NC Beaches and I'm going to show you how to use a Bintelli golf cart. It's a little bit different than a club cart so there are a little bit different instructions. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is unplug it. You don't want to run off with a plugged in cart because it could break the charger. So you're going to unplug it and you're going to take the wire and put it completely under the seat so it's not hanging off the cart because then it could break. All right, then we're gonna take the key. The key is different for each Vintelli. It's not like the club cart that has a universal key. So it's different for each cart. You're gonna put it in the ignition, turn it. You're gonna flip this switch, and then you can put your foot on the brake and put the brake, the parking brake all the way down. Sometimes you put it down, like you can put it down halfway and it won't move. You have to put it down all the way. Make sure it's all the way down. After you turn it on, all the lights will come on. You'll have the speedometer right here. You can put Bluetooth on here, the radio. There's power outlets here. So if you need a charge, um, there's a car charger and then there's also a USB. <laughs> the USB that there. And then there's a backup camera. We got cup holders. We got cup holders back here. There's seat belts. Um, there's the glove compartment, which you can use the key to open. Right there. Oh, and there's USBs in there if you want to use them to charge. Okay. And then to reverse, it's this, guy, this part is typically like a regular club cart. So put your foot on the brake, put the brake all the way down click it into reverse. When it's in reverse, it beeps like that. And then you can back up using the gas pedal. All right, and to move forward, you'll just put it in F mode and it'll go forward um, if you press the gas. Something important to know about this cart is that when you take your foot off the gas, it automatically will break the cart. So you'll feel it breaking without you pressing on the brake. Now I'm going to show you a few cool features about the Bintelli. So we have this seat back here that flips out and you can use it um, for luggage or your groceries or anything like that. There's also this um, compartment in here that you can put things in there. Just don't forget that they're in there. And then you can flip it back. There's also cup holders back here. And then we also have a windshield wiper up here. So when you turn it on right here, it'll wipe the windshields. We have these mirrors that you can fold in and out. We have the battery right here. It shows when it's fully charged or if it's dead. So make sure that you are plugging it in every time you are here. Doesn't matter if you're just stopping for a little bit or for a long time, always plug it in because you don't want to get stuck with the dead cart. It costs a lot to tow it. All right. And please remember that when you're driving a golf cart, the same rules apply as when you're driving a car. For example, you need to have a driver's license. You can't have underage um, people driving. You can't have a baby in your lap while you're driving. You need to, um, we recommend that you use a seatbelt. Um, you can't have open containers. You will get pulled over and they will give you a ticket if you have an open container, even if you're not the one driving, even if it's a passenger. Just to reiterate, make sure the key is on you have flipped this switch. If you don't flip this switch, it won't move. You have put the brake all the way down while your foot is on the brake. Make sure it's an F forward, and then you'll click the gas to move forward. All right, and speaking of the speedometer, we need to make sure that we're going the speed limit. Make sure that you're looking at the speed limit signs and you're following the speed limit that's on the street. Also, to turn on the lights, if it's dark outside, you're going to flip this that way towards you and the lights will come on. Just turn them back off, flip them that way, and they'll turn off. Also, this acts as a blinker as well. So you put it up to put your right blinker on. And you can see right here it indicates the blinker. And then you put it down to the left blinker, just like in a car. You can turn it off like that. And then also to honk the horn, honk the horn you press it inwards and that's how you honk the horn. All right, and then when you stop moving, 
always make sure that you pull the brake all the way up before taking your foot off the brake. So it's not like a club car that you press the brake all the way down and it parks the car. It's more of this parking brake. You have to use it anytime that you're stopped. For this must be the place, we have stoppers for each car to make sure that you are stopping in the correct spot. It indicates the exact location that the plug can reach so it's not too far or too close to the house. These are the rain covers and um, if you want to put them up when it's not raining, you will just roll it like so. Make sure you roll it nice and neatly. And then once you get it up to the top, you'll take this button right here and button it in here. And you might have to put your arm on the inside. Button that up. Button it, each one. Okay, and then you don't have to roll this one up. You keep this one down, but the other ones you could do the same thing. Roll it up. And for this one, you might have to fold it over to roll it up. And then when you want to take it down, be really careful with these buttons because they can break if you pull them too hard. And then roll it back down like this. And then you can zip it down like this. And then these also have buttons as well that you can button down so they're not flapping in the wind. And when you want to take it off, be careful with the button and then zip it back up to roll it down. When you zip it up, Try not to zip it all the way off so that they come apart because it is kind of tricky to get it back together. But if that happens, do not worry. I will show you how to do it. So say you accidentally go all the way off and it comes apart like this. You're going to take this rubber band, put it up, take the zipper, put it on like you would a jacket, pull the rubber band up and pull the zipper down. And that's how you use the rain cover. You want to take the rain jackets completely off the cart um, and it's been a sunny week and you just want them off the cart. Zip them all the way up, have them so they're apart like this on both sides. And then this just slides right out. Slide it really carefully. You'll take all of them, lay them down on top of each other so say they're all laying on top of each other, and you take them all, roll them all up, and set them on the deck. Thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy your stay and text us if you need anything at all.